We went down from 86 titles in October. In November, I got 57. Let's do it. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Tommy Starr here, thank you for clicking on this video and welcome to my November Blu-ray update. And look who's back. Hi. It has been months and months. It's been a while. Since Jazz has... Been a minute. Like, not only been in a video, but like been in a <laughs> Blu-ray update. Yeah, she's been on vacation from my YouTube channel she's for a while. Like I have a gun to her back right now. <laughs> I have missed you guys. I know it's been a while since my last video, and I know I really haven't been posting a lot. Uh, God, I think my last video was like two weeks ago or something like that. But I, I've just, you guys, I've had a lot, a lot of things going on in our life. <laughs> um, you know, some personal stuff. And uh, so it's just, it's been difficult to, you know, make videos. Um, but I do apologize, you guys. Um, I'm back with my November Blu-ray update and hopefully, you know, over the next couple weeks, I'll be putting out some, uh, you know, some more content for you guys. So I just want to say I apologize. Just a lot going on in our world lately. Hard to believe you guys. It is almost like halfway through December right now. Christmas is just inches away. It's just crazy to think about how fast time has been going lately. It's like, seriously. Yeah. It's just really insane. Fast. But uh, yeah, I got a great update. Like I said, 57 titles, gone down quite a bit from last month. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't gotten anything in the month of December so far. And it's already the, what, what's the date? Eighth today, something like that? Yeah, it is the... Um, but, you know, there's good reason for it, you guys. You know, mainly because, you know, I've been, you know, not wanting to spend any money on anything this month because obviously it's Christmas time. And uh, we got presents to buy. We got... Uh, Spend some kids. You know, 432 kids. <laughs> and uh, they're reaching that, uh, you know, Age. they're like becoming teenagers, like preteens now. And uh, they don't want the little cheapy toys anymore. They want the big giant monitors and <laughs> gaming systems. And it's just insane. Uh, <laughs> so. Not to mention all the money we put into Fortnite. Oh Honestly, God. we should own stock in Fortnite. We should, totally. But, uh... Also, you know, I try not to buy things around this time of the year because, you know, I know that people want to buy me things and, and you know, I try to, I try to, you know, restrain myself from buying yeah. movies so other people have a shopping list for I me. I love you, but this is the first year you've ever done that, which is nice. I know, I'm turning over a new leaf, people. <laughs> okay, so enough talk. Let's get into this update. Um, I think the majority of this update is... Uh, Looks like A to Z, but there is a lot of stuff, a lot of a lot of categories. We got a couple of horror, not a lot. I, I, bought, I bought a ton of horror in October, so I didn't really get much in this update. Um, we got some cool still books. We got like one DC Marvel. We got a, a DVD. We got a, a, a bunch of uh, specialty lines again in this update. We got uh, a new MVD. We got uh, some tons of kick-ass Scream Factory. We even got some Arrow in this update. I haven't gotten any Arrow in a long time. Uh, we got some series, um, 4K, some Disney, and like usual, like I do every November and sometimes December, we have a Christmas category. So we'll definitely have to save that for last. And there's a couple titles in here that typically have their own category. Like um, I think there's a few Disney and the DVD that I bought. I'm actually gonna put those into my Christmas category. Um, just so, you know, I have, you know, a bigger Christmas category to go through. Um, because I didn't really get a lot of Christmas this year. You know, I know there's a lot I already have, but I haven't really gotten much Christmas this year because I have so much anyway. So, but there you have it, everybody. So, yeah, um, a good chunk to go through. I'm excited. Let's quit talking and <laughs> let's get it on. Okie dokie. We are going to go ahead and start with A to Z. And the first two titles I'm going to show you here... Like, I, I just I just want to get these out of the way because I don't really have a category for, for whatever you want to call these things, like, you know, documentaries or whatever. There but, you go. People say these would be documentaries. Uh, yeah, and since I don't buy a lot of documentaries, I don't really need to put a separate category for that. But I am Chris Farley. Um, 
a documentary on the life of Chris Farley and his career. Um, I had this on DVD. I remember buying it when it came out, and then my DVD actually got destroyed. It got like wet, and the whole thing got destroyed. Oh, back um, when yeah, we had a pipe burst, a pipe burst downstairs, yeah, yeah. and a bunch of my DVDs and stuff got ruined. Um, and this was one of them, but. Um, I've been wanting to get it on Blu-ray forever, and I think I was watching the Blue Obsession, one of his videos, his last update, he picked this up, and he said it was really cheap on Amazon, it was like five bucks or something like that, so I jumped on there, grabbed it, and with Prime, I had it in two days, so big fan of Chris Farley, you guys, I, I have always loved Chris Farley, so sad that he, we had to lose him so young, but this is a fantastic, uh, documentary on his life, so you guys, if you're a fan of this guy, and you haven't seen this yet, totally recommend it. Mm -hmm. Look at our tree over there. It's you, not done it's yet. It's kind of in in the in the frame here, the, the tip of it, but it's not done yet. Yeah, he we still got the, the kids have still have stuff. to put their uh, me and my son still have to put uh, our ornaments on. And there. he won't let us put the, the star on until they're done. Yep. That's those are the rules. Um, so <laughs> The true story of WrestleMania, um, and I've already watched it. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, just like a documentary on how WrestleMania began and what it has turned into today and what it started from. And it's it's hard to believe that, like, the impact WrestleMania itself had on wrestling and pay-per-view and how just everything became so big in the wrestling world. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool documentary. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay. First time to Blu-ray. We finally got Young Guns 2 on Blu-ray. Uh, got this a few weeks ago, just came out. I've always liked part two better than part one. Uh, I don't know why. I think it was like the first one I ever seen. Um, but, uh, happy to see this on Blu-ray. You guys haven't watched it yet, but I will definitely get to this soon. I want to watch the first one before I watch this one because it's been a long ass time since I've seen the first I've one. I've never seen either one. Really, really good movies. Great cast. All right, I was pretty surprised to have come across this, you guys. This is the original Gone in 60 Seconds. Never heard of this one. Um, <laughs> for those of you who might not know, that Nicolas Cage movie was actually a remake. Um, the original one came out in 1974, um, and it's a lot of fun. I Honestly, I, I, I like the remake better, um, but I definitely wanted to get this in the collection, and it's not something you come across a lot out in the wild. I think this was at... Uh, half price book so happy to get that in the collection my buddy craig uh texts me one day and he says hey man i'm ordering this online do you want me to order you a copy as well and i was like hell yeah and he got it for a really good deal and he went ahead and uh mailed it out to me and that is dirty work with norm mcdonald it's another one i've never heard of what's special about this movie to craig and i is this was actually chris farley's last on-screen role before he died um his last big movie was of course uh, almost heroes but this was the last movie that he was in before he passed away um on top of that it's a hilarious movie so funny i love norm mcdonald um and to get it on blu-ray finally awesome thank you so much craig i really appreciate it man what <laughs> are there any movies i know in you don't know any of these so far well i mean like i know the first one because it's chris farley and Do you I know this one Anytime I, I see one of those uh, like spoof movies out in the wild, I gotta grab it. Pick this up for a couple bucks uh, over at I think a pawn shop disaster movie. A lot of these movies are stupid, but I just I think they're funny and they're just I don't know. I always have a good time with them. There's balls in the back. <laughs> There's balls in the back. There's balls in the back. <laughs> uh, disaster movie. Um, one of the weaker ones, but. Uh, to find it on Blu-ray, I, I figured I'd snag it. I think my favorite one, other than Scary Movie, is I always liked uh, Superhero Movie. I, got, I still got to get this that one on Blu-ray. But, uh, yeah, Disaster Movie. You finally got a movie that you can show people? Yeah. What is it? I forgot about it. <laughs> All right, so from when I was a kid, I was obsessed with, um, oh, gosh, what's his name? <gasps> now I'm blanking on their names. All right, I'll show it to you, though. So there was the there were a couple of creators who made cartoon movies when I was a kid, and one of my favorites was Anastasia. Uh, it's a really great kid movie. It's vaguely, vaguely referencing the actual story, but it's a lot of fantasy-based 
Um, it's very interesting. There's the back. Every time I see it, it just reminds me of like like it's a Disney movie, but it's not. It, it's basically a Disney movie. It, like it's built just like a Disney movie. There's tons of music. Is there's... Anastasia a Disney character? Or no. No, but she is a real life person. No. Oh. Like it's a real story. I didn't know that. There was a whole Russian royal family that was murdered in a re revol revolution. Wow. And it was her family. It's starting to get so. deep here. It's, it's actually very good. Um, it actually got my attention as a kid to go for actually reading the real story, which was a lot darker and creepier. And obviously nobody survived, but you never know. There's those theory stories. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay, so next up here is... Um, a double feature that I found at Half Price Books one day, one that's on the list that I never... Uh, Back to stuff I don't know. Never would think um, I would find this, you know, one I wanted to order from Amazon. You know this, we just watched this the other day, remember? You mean the one I fell asleep <laughs> Anyway, uh, that is the Pure Country double feature. Now, I've never seen the second one. George Strait is actually in the second one. Is he really? Um, but I've never seen it, and I heard it's like you know really different from the first one. I don't know how well it ties into the story of the first one. Okay. And apparently they just released a third one like recently. But anyways, I bought this for the first one. Which great, is great good. movie. Just yes. watched the majority of it. I did. Um, it is so good, you guys. I love George Strait, one of my all time favorite country singers. And I don't think you can get this movie on its on its own. I think the only way to get it on Blu-ray is in this double feature, um, which the second one has Katrina Ellum in it, whoever that is. But like I said, George Strait is in the second one. But I bought it just for the first one. Love this movie. So good. Check it out. All right, you guys. Next up is a movie that I was just blown away when I found this at Half Price Books. Half Price Books tends to know their shit when it comes to uh, out-of-print titles and pricing stuff oh. higher. But they they missed this one. They they didn't do their homework, and that is Driven. Um, it, I got it. You, guys, if you look this up, it's it's out-of-print, and it goes for like, what is it, 50, 60? I've even seen as high as 80 online. Not like it's a good movie or anything. I mean, it's okay, but it's Stallone, and I try to get everything with Stallone, and I didn't think I'd ever get this one because it was out of print. Half Price Books had it marked for five bucks, you guys. That's why you shop in the wild at used places, because you never know what you're going to find. Um, but yeah, so $5 for a new Stallone film, out of print title. I was blown away when I found this. All right, now we're going to get into the A to Z slipcovers. And you might be able to tell us about this movie. I wanted to watch it. A newer movie that just recently came out a few weeks back. I like the cast. I don't really know too much about it. It's one of those end of the world, there's only a couple people left kind of scenario. Um, but it's got uh, Peter Dinklage and Elle Fanning in it. And it looks really interesting. It's like they're the last two people on earth. I think I want to watch this tonight. I feel cool with What's that. it called? It's called I Think We're Alone Now, which every time I see this title, I instantly get that song stuck in my head. Like, instantly. It actually looks kind of like a cool movie, you guys. I guess it like it's kind of like a thriller um, to some extent. Like, how are they by themselves? I like this, too. This Peter... Dinklage? What's his name? Peter Dinklage? I like this guy. He, he's really he, good. He's a big star from, like, Game of Thrones. Uh, but he's, he's been, been, he's that been in a lot of other movies. But I think he's a great actor. Um, he's really cool, but, uh, yeah, yeah um, we haven't watched He was, yet, um, but. he's in, was it the last Thor movie? He plays a giant. Oh, yeah, yeah, he played in, uh, yeah. Infinity War. Yeah. Um, uh, Avengers was, Infinity War. It was Avengers, okay. I couldn't remember so. if it was Avengers or just Thor. Yeah, so, yeah, right now we're busy watching Christmas movies, but, uh, hopefully after that. the first year we'll, we'll watch that. No, I want to watch it now. I forgot about it. Okay, another title that came out recently from MVD. This is part of their marquee line, and I think this is the first marquee MVD I bought because I, I collect all the MVD rewinds. I don't really get into these, but I like this movie, and it's a new special edition with a slipcover, and that is uh, Denzel and uh, Out of Time. Cool movie, uh, suspense movie. Uh, definitely has you on the edge of your seat the whole movie, but this is a cool new edition. You get some cool special features in here, <clears throat> if you guys can see that. Uh, but, but, yeah, cool new slipcover. So, yeah, happy to have that. Only because of the slipcover? Yeah, only because of the slipcover. All right, I haven't, you guys, gotten a lot of newer movies lately. Because, um, like I said, I've been kind of holding off. Um, for, you know, for the past couple of weeks, obviously, you guys haven't seen any uh, 
shopping videos. I actually have a shopping video planned for this month I'm going to do, so definitely uh, stick around. You guys will uh, you guys will see that this month. But anyway, I had to go get this because, you know, when it came out, it was like 20 25 bucks. And I noticed on Amazon that it went down to $12. And I didn't know how long it was going to stay there. I think it was like a Cyber Monday deal or something. Um, so I ran over to Best Buy and I uh, price matched it um, with Amazon. And that is Mile 22, the brand new Mark Wahlberg film. So I had to get it, you guys. Like I said, for that price, I mean, 12 bucks for a brand new movie. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I, Craig, I'm pretty sure Craig has seen this. He... He's got a major man crush on Mark Wahlberg. You know what I want to do? And we should have Craig fly in for this. Uh-huh. I want to have a Wahlberg movie-thon, but I want to have dinner at the Wahlberg's restaurant in North America. <laughs> there you go, Craig. It's An a excuse date. to come out here. Come on. It's true. And the very last A to Z is something I just kind of came across at uh, Walmart one day, I think at the beginning of uh, November, and that is Donnie Brasco with Johnny Depp and Al Pacino. And this is like a new edition with a slipcover. Um, it was oh, seven eighty eight, And uh, yeah, I, I guess it's, I don't know. It's like, I've never seen this edition before. Um, so I, I had to grab it. It's, a, it's an awesome Johnny Depp movie. Um, and I've never seen this with a slipcover. So who put this out? Mill Creek put this out. Yeah. So yeah, it's a cool movie based on a true story. So. All right, you guys, that is it for A to Z. Let's uh, go ahead and move on to the next category. Yay. What happened to your, your hat? It was too small for my head. She's laying on the couch. Shut up. Come on. We've only gone through one category. You can make it. It's one of your favorite categories. I'm going to do still books now. Okay. I always, I always tend to do still books like towards the end, but... We'll do them now. Yay. Actually, not a huge stack of still books, but some really, really cool ones. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you here, we'll go ahead and uh, do this one, the Scream Factory still book. This one didn't ship to me on the release day. Uh, for some reason, this it got delayed by, by uh, a week or two. That was a long time. Uh, but this is the last still book so far now that Scream Factory has released, and as of now, there's no more, um, you know, upcoming ones. But that is John Carpenter's The Thing. And this new artwork is just phenomenal. It's pretty. There's the back. Kick ass. The spine. And uh, we got disc art on all three of the discs. And, of course, the inside of these never really have art, but they do have that you know, little movie quote on the left side. So, yeah, awesome. Uh, Scream Factory, come on, you guys. You got to... You got to announce some more still books because uh, there's no more right now. Okay, next up is something that I heard about in one of the Facebook groups I'm in. Um, somebody had posted this at uh, Best Buy was getting these. And I usually know about things that are upcoming through, you know, like Blu-ray.com. But for some reason, I never heard that this was coming out. They Best Buy got like a couple different like exclusive still books uh, a, a couple weeks ago. But I couldn't wait to get my hands on this. This was one of those Sunday release uh, titles, and that is <laughs> the complete Rocky set. Uh, the you know all six Rocky Remember movies. Remember how special they were when we went asking for it. I hate the Sunday releases because they never they never put them out. It. They never put them out on Ever. Sunday. It's like yeah, you got to go there and you're like, is today the release day? Yeah, it is. Go up in the back and get oh, it. Oh yeah, we'll probably put them out on Tuesday. <laughs> no, you're supposed to put them out now. Oh my god, this has got a dent on it. Shut up. There's a little dent up here at the top. Bastards. Bullshit. But anyways, this is Rocky 1 through 6. And, you know, you guys know I don't typically get um, steelbooks of, of, of sequels and things like that or complete set steelbooks. But if it's that type of series, I have to. Like, you know, one of them was Back to the Future. You have to get the trilogy of that. And Rocky's another one. I, I There was a, a part one steelbook I was after for a while. That was kind of cool looking. But when I seen that this was coming out, I mean, you have to have the whole series of Rocky and... I just love it. Um, there's the front. There's the back. The spine. There's nothing really on the inside, but I am kind of pissed about this. I hate when they do that. They have all the discs stacked on top oh. of each other. And I, I just, oh, it pisses me off when they do that. But no, not really, like, really any artwork in, in the inside of it. So, I'm but. Sorry. Sorry, but just still, uh, pretty still book. 
Next up is another one of those real hero uh, steelbooks. This is actually a pretty cool movie. I've actually never even owned this movie before. Um, and that is Van Helsing with Hugh Jackman. It's a good movie. It's a cool movie. It's not just cool. Oh, it is good. Shit on the back from a sticker or something. It sucks. Oh. You have to work on that. Get some gooby on. Noth nothing on the inside of these real heroes. All right, this one, you guys, I'm, I, I was really excited for this one to come out. This one is a new release from Shout Factory. And uh, <clears throat> was it, I think, a year ago or something like that, they released the a still book of the first one in this movie. And I didn't buy it at first because I already had a still book for the first movie. And then when I noticed that Shout Factory was putting out part two, uh, that, you know, the, where the art artwork was, like, similar and matched the first one that they released, I'm like, you know what? I got to get it. So I went to Best Buy because they actually had the first one. I got the first one and then had this pre-ordered and it finally came out uh, about a week or two ago. That is Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Look at that artwork, you guys. And the first one, you guys, I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's like purple and it kind of looks the same. It's got the phone Well, it's book. more blue, so it's like fire and ice kind of Yeah, thing. kind of. There's the back. Like I said, released from Shout Factory. And then uh, we do have disc art, as you can see there. And then a really cool shot of everybody on stage. Awesome. Okay, so this one, I remember I was uh, kind of like uh, shopping around on eBay, just kind of looking around. And all of a sudden, I, I, I'm always trying to like find different still books. And uh, I thought of a movie. I'm like, oh my God, I'd love to have a still book of that movie. And because uh, this particular movie was actually just at the time coming to 4K, which I still haven't bought yet. Um, but anyway, I didn't know, even know they had a still book of this. And when I found it, it was actually really cheap. And I was, I jumped on it. And that is Superman, the movie, um, the very first one with Christopher Reeve. And as you can see, it's kind of like the same type of style as that original Batman still book that I bought, you know, the Michael Keaton Batman. It's like the same look where you get like two characters on the front, like Batman and Joker was on that one. That's the Superman and Lex Luger. Um, uh, sort of Lex Luthor, <laughs> Lex Luger. I was watching wrestling last night and it made me think of Lex Luger. Anyways, um, so yeah, beautiful still book. So there's the front. There's a couple of little things wrong with it though. Like it's a little dinged up. It was used, but I think that's why it was so cheap. But overall, it's it's okay. Yeah, it's in good shape. It's just there's like yeah, this is a tiny thing. it is a different region. Um, like they usually ever look at this I picture on the inside. I get the different region ones. Look at that. Well, it, it's not like I need to watch it. I just get them for the collection. You know no, that. No, because your collection's all weird now because you don't have it all the same region. So yeah. it's just my steel books. No, the steel books are mine, not yours. Oh. They should all be the same region so that when I leave you. Well, some of those steel books you can't even find in our region. Figure it out. Oh. Stick a regular region movie in there. I don't care. Next up here. Um, when the fourth movie of this came out, uh, like, I don't know, a month or two ago, they released still books of uh, the first three movies. And uh, you know me, I like to get just the first film in the in the franchise. So I had to pick this one up. It was really cheap over at Best Buy, but that is the, the very first Purge movie. Not the first Purge, but The Purge, number one. Um, so like I said, they all had similar still books of all the other ones, but I just had to grab the first one just for the collection. It's cool looking. Nah. And this is my favorite one too in the in the franchise. So, Meh. have you even seen all the Purge movies? Meh. Meh. I've never seen any of them. I know, which I shouldn't be admitting. Cool pick. I forgot, you guys. I, I, this is the four K still book. Yeah, this is when I you started. Forget. You started thinking maybe you should start buying the versions of the four K. Well, they. I don't think this was even on a standard Blu Ray four K. I mean, oh, ah, well. standard Blu Ray still book. I mean. Fine, then. And the very last still book in this update is Phantasm, released from Wellgo USA. So happy to finally get a still book of Phantasm, you guys. And I ordered this uh, off of, I think, Amazon, but they did have it in store at Best Buy. And they, I, I, I think they say, still do. It's region, right? Yeah, it's region A. Okay. There's the back. Check it out. Love it. Spine. And take the disc out. And nothing too fancy on the inside. All right, you guys, that is uh, all my still books for this update. Let's move on to my specialty items. Okay, we'll go ahead and start with my MVD Rewind. Uh, we got number 12 here. And again, you guys, you know, I 
these days I'm doing mostly unboxings of like screen factories and stuff like that. Um, uh, you know, my specialty lines and I go in full detail on in the unboxing. So of course, you know, all these that are in this update, I will put those unboxing videos down in the description box so you guys can go check those out. Uh, but number 12 in the MVD Rewind, Bright Lights, Big City with Michael J. Fox. And uh, we got some kick-ass upcoming MVD Rewinds, you guys, in the next couple months that I cannot wait uh, to get. I just love this line. Love the uh, the slipcover. Yeah, this is another one of the ripped ones. What? I don't know any of the movies that they do. Most, I mean, I know most of them. There's a few. Like, I've never the heard 80s? of this one. Uh, they range, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s. I don't know any of them. But, uh, yeah, yeah, so there's number 12 in the MVD Rewind line. So it has been some time since I had some arrows in an update, <laughs> and I got two kick-ass deals on these, you guys, and one of them in particular I've been after for so long. First one I'm going to show you here. I found both of these at a random half-price books that I was at that I don't normally go to a lot, and I could not believe how cheap these were. This first one here I'm going to show you is a brand new Arrow release, one of their new slipcover special editions, and that is Bruce Willis and 12 Monkeys. Uh, this is brand new. It just came out like, I don't know, a month ago or something like that, give or take. And, uh, you know, if you try to get it online, it's like 25 bucks or something. I found this uh, used, but perfect condition with the slipcover, $10 over at uh, Half Price Books. So I wasn't really going to get this movie because uh, I'm not like a huge fan of the movie, but I do enjoy it. But for $10 for an arrow with the slip, you damn right. Special features on the back here. If you guys can see that. Insane amount of special features. And next up here, you guys, is a out of print arrow title. Screen Factory recently put the first movie in this series out um, a couple... Uh, like a month or two ago, and I wanted to get Arrow's uh, edition of part two, but it's out of print and it goes for like 80 to 100 bucks. I found this for $17.99 over at that same half price books, you guys. Creep Show 2, the uh, Arrow's you know, plain Amray edition, and this never came with a slipcover. Um, but uh, I, I couldn't believe it because this is like I said, you guys, it's out of print, goes for like 80 to 100 bucks. Um, I know that there's a, a box set, a, a box set edition of this, which would have been cool to have, but I'm happy with the standard Amory because the box set is even more expensive. Um, but you guys, I'm so happy. I cannot believe I found this for the price I did. So those are my two arrow titles. Let's move on to Scream Factory. Okay, so got some kick-ass Scream Factories in this update. The first one I'm going to show you is just a regular Scream Factory, not a collector edition or anything like that, and that is Urban Legends Final Cut. This is part two in the Urban Legends series. Um, and yeah, first time to Blu-ray. Happy to uh, to have this. Uh, not a, a great sequel or anything, but it's, it's fun. And check this out, you guys. Such a beautiful set. Uh, I think it was my last video I actually posted was the unboxing of this, which, of course, will be down in the description box. God, we you. finally get the Critters on Blu-ray and a complete collection from Screen I Factory. I think it's funny that you're saying beautiful when they're the creepiest looking things All ever. All right. <laughs> Look at that artwork, you guys. It is so badass. Here's the back. And we get four individual Amory's in here of all four Critters films. Um, I just... So, so many Screen Factory fans have been waiting for them to release... The Critters, uh, you know, and like I said, first time to Blu-ray. This has never been on Blu-ray before. So such a beautiful set. Nice, hard case. Thank you, Scream Factory. Oh, I cannot wait to watch these. All right, and we got three collector editions. I'll just go ahead and show you these real quick one at a time. Um, but uh, like I said, full unboxing, full detail down below in the description. First one up here is Sleepwalkers. A lot of these are titles they announced at Comic-Con. I think we almost got all of them now that they announced at Comic-Con. Well, a, a few more to come yet. But Sleepwalkers, Candyman. Oh, my God. i just so happy of this release. This was the big uh, Holy Grail uh, announcement this year from Comic-Con. Uh, and they released it with that alternate slip, uh, which is downstairs of my collection. So watch the video. You guys will see it. But uh, from my boy Joel Robinson did the artwork of this. 
And then the last one, most recent one I've gotten, and that's Urban Legend. So as you can see, they released the first one and the second one uh, through Screen Factory. Awesome artwork. And then uh, we do have... Um, uh, we, I, am, I don't even think it's shipped yet, but we do have the next uh, collector edition coming out with, uh, which is coming with a figure and everything. So I cannot wait for that to finally get shipped. Hopefully it gets shipped pretty quick here because the release day is this Tuesday. So, and I ordered it straight through Shop Factory. Um, okay, you guys, that's it for uh, Scream Factory. Let's keep moving. All right, we'll bust out my horror real quick. Not a lot, just got three titles here. First one is I Spit on Your Grave. This is, it's a cool movie. This is the remake, uh, the first uh, part one in the remake. Uh, and it, it's, it's a badass movie. It's, it's pretty kick-ass, some awesome kills in here. This one is getting pretty expensive, you guys. Uh, this and the original um, are definitely up there. They're becoming out of print now and harder to find. But I found this at my half-price books for, I don't know, $5 or something. So, so happy to finally have this on Blu-ray. Now, I just got to get all the other ones, the part two, part three, and then the uh, original. We finally got another and supposedly the last in this series, and that is The Last Sharknado. It's about time. Um, this is the sixth one in the franchise, and I got to catch up on these. I think I've only ever made it through the first three, three or four. I know there's like uh, I, the number five, uh, which was called Global Swarming, um, and then the fourth one, The Fourth Awakens. I don't think I ever watched that one. I've never seen any of them. The names I know. So, funny. I need to watch them. so the second one is called the second one. The third one is called Oh Hell No. <laughs> the fourth one is called The Fourth Awakens. Fifth one is Global Swarming. Now this one is The Fourth Awakens. It's about time. So I just I love the art. Uh, the movies are so fun. They're so stupid. They're meant to be that way. Uh, they always get a cool cast. Some really kick ass cameos. I'm excited to watch this one. I gotta catch up on the others and then we'll get to it. And the last horror title, the only one with the slipcover, is a newer movie and that is Slender Man. Super against this one. Um, why? Because it's too soon. Too soon? What do you yeah, because of those two girls trying to murder the other girl in Wisconsin, like what, six months ago? Or what, that was because ago? of this movie? It was because of this dude. That's why they made the movie, because now all of a sudden he's a huge internet sensation. Oh. Well, there you have it, folks. He's Go stupid. out and get the movie. I haven't watched it yet, but. Yeah, I got it, like, right after Halloween. I was kind of all whored out. I, I, like, watched so many horror movies in October. But we'll get to it after Christmas. No. All right. Um, yes, we will. No. Let's move on to the next category. Okay, we'll go ahead and do the one DC Marvel title that I got. And that is uh, another edition of Deadpool 2. Um, I picked this up on uh, around Black Friday because it went down really cheap. It's just a new cover. I think this was uh, the DVD cover when it first came out, and then they put it on Blu-ray now. But sadly, it didn't come with a slip cover. I really wish it would have, but it, they marked it down really cheap for around Black Friday. I think it went down to like, I don't know, like six bucks or something like that. So, you know me and Deadpool, I got to get all the editions. Oh, hi. It's my dog, Baker. How you doing? <laughs> um... Walmart recently put out uh, a part one and a part two and like little box sets that come with like mini Funkos. And then of course there's that new exclusive Best Buy edition that comes with a pen. It's like a Christmas edition of part two on 4K, a little box set. I got to get all three of those, you guys. I'm like a little bit behind. Hopefully for Christmas I get them. Hi. Give a kiss. How you doing? He gives awkward but kisses. There's my only DC Marvel. I'm here, baby. <laughs> Oh, someone else is trying to join. He's well, hey. What's up, buddy? <laughs> We're going to do uh, 4K now. All right. The only 4K I got and the only Black Friday. Well, if you count Deadpool, too, I guess, too. But uh, I got this actually on Black Friday. And the only ti uh, title I picked up, I didn't go Black Friday shopping this year, you guys. Didn't really have the money, and I didn't really feel like it. I wasn't feeling good. I just decided to skip this year and go crazy next year. But anyway, this went down really, really cheap. All three of these went down to eight bucks. I just picked up the first one, First Blood. Um, this is my favorite in the franchise. Kick ass, 
one of my all-time favorite movies, one of my all-time favorite Stallone films, and had to get the 4K. I'll eventually get probably get two and three on 4K as well, because um, they they were all eight bucks. And, and to be honest with you, I should have gotten all three of them. I don't know why I didn't, but I just I ran into Best Buy, grabbed number one, and ran out. So, but uh, there you go, the only 4K in this update. All right, let's move on to TV series. Okay, we got some kick-ass series in this update. I got two of them here. So happy for both of them. First one I'm going to show you here is another exclusive to Target. Finally, I've been waiting for so long for them to release this. And they did the same thing as they did for season one. And that is season two of Stranger Things. Again, they released uh, these cool retro VHS box set things. The only thing is I'm a little disappointed because, as you see, it opens up like, woo, it opens up like that, and it's like a magnet, but it doesn't, like, it won't stay shut. I don't know if you guys are dealing with the same problem as me, but, it, like, when you put it on the shelf, it doesn't stay shut, and it pisses me off. But finally, we have Stranger Things Season 2 on Blu-ray. Um, they had the 4K one as well. I actually like the artwork for Part 2, uh, Part 1, for Blu-ray, a lot better than uh, the 4K one. I know I was kind of calling it part one. But uh, so happy that we finally got this, and w which, which means that season, th season three now will probably be coming to Netflix soon because I remember when they released part one to Blu-ray, um, right away part two came to Netflix. So hopefully we get the same thing with uh, this you know, into part three now. So, But anyways, you guys, love it. So happy we finally got Stranger Things two season two on blu-ray and for the first time we finally got one of my all-time favorite animated series you guys look at this beautiful set and that is batman the complete series batman the animated series first time to blu-ray and this really beautiful box set um you get a couple little mini funkos up there um, this was pretty spendy. I think it was like 90 bucks at Walmart, but I did sell the code for like 50 bucks. So I ended up paying only, um, only, uh, $40 for this set, which is amazing, but it is just beautiful. You guys, I'll, uh, open this up and show you what it looks like on the inside. Was that hot chocolate? Uh -huh. I want a hot chocolate. Do you? No, you don't have to, honey. Are you sure? I want to take the little... So here's a little pops you get. <laughs> Joker, Harley Quinn, and Batman. And then um, I think you get like, there's like a book in here or something. Um, sorry, you guys. I want you guys to see what this look, looks like. So just oh, pulling everything out. So you get like, uh, you get these like, I think they're like pictures or postcards or something. Yeah. Whoa. Look at these. Yeah, and they're all lenticular. Aww. Just a bunch of like scenes from the movie. That's what they look like on the back. They're different pictures in the back too. Oh no, not all of them. Look at these yeah, awesome yeah. lenticular pictures. Do they like a puzzle piece there? No. Isn't that cool? So it's a really nice set. It is pretty. Yeah, I think that's all of them there. And then we get the... Then we actually get the movies. They come in like this hardcover box thing. It just slides out like that. And then here's the series. A nice hard booklet. So you get the idea. So yeah, so happy that we finally got the uh, animated series on Blu-ray in this awesome set. All right, almost, almost done with this update. What are you doing over there? Watching videos on your phone? They're trying to rip out his nose hair by wax. It's disgusting. That's what she's doing <laughs> while I'm doing my update here. We got Disney now. Yay! That's... All right. Why don't you go ahead and do the Disney? So like I said, you guys, I took out... Oh, how perfect. Do you know how old this is? <laughs> I don't know how old that is. I've had this is. since I was like five. Oh, really? When Disney, when it was on ice, I got it. That's awesome. It's so I took a few of these Disney titles out of the Disney category because I'm going to save them for last for when I do Christmas. Um, so we'll just do uh, a few Disney titles here that are not Christmas or just regular Disney's. So uh, what do we got here? Go ahead and show them. Put you to work. But, but cool whip. 
And hot dogs. <laughs> You're funny. Um. Have you not watched that yet? No. <laughs> I haven't either. I sleep more than he does, so... A brand new live-action Disney. Thank you. And they can kind of see it already at the top there. Oh, well. I'm actually really cool, uh, really wanting to watch this because it's got... <coughs> how do you say his name? Ed? Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor, who it was just so cute in the Star Wars movies. But here you go. Christopher Robin. So we haven't seen this one yet. But basically, it's about Christopher Robin returning to the wood and learning how to laugh again. Because us adults, who doesn't need to laugh again, right? Um, I think it looks super cute. I love the little bonus extras. My kids are weird. My kids will watch all of the bonus features before they watch the movie. Yeah, they do. When I was a kid, <laughs> I hated that shit. No, they get really interested in it. So I think we're definitely going to have to watch this on Sunday when they come home from my mom's. Um, yeah, it looks really cute. I like the idea of it being live action, but it's like, it's like animated live action, right? You talk a lot. All right, so the next one we have is Incredibles 2. Um, I did watch half of it before I fell asleep. It felt a little long to me, but it's a really cute storyline. Um, it's long anticipated. This should have been out a long, long time ago. Yeah, how long has it been? Like 10 years, I think? I think so. Or longer? I, I think I was Since like... the first one? I think I was still a kid when the first one came out. Were you? Might have been. Like a teenager. So I picked this up from the Disney Movie Club. Yeah, I'm a member of the Disney Movie Club. About time, too, right? Yay! This is uh, the third edition. And it's got all the newest, like, little shorts from all the movies that have been coming out. So, like... Um, the third edition of what? <laughs> the third edition of the Pixar short films. I think there's, like, a three in here. You can't really see it. It's embossed. Yeah. Have you watched any of those? Like from the first Ugh. two? No, but the next one creeps me out a little bit. I don't know why we have this. <laughs> so. so I have this movie just because it's why? Disney. It's got a Disney label. I buy everything Disney Blu-ray. Dude. I had to this get it. Is, no. It's a Disney movie. This is Okay, so this is in between my age group and my daughter's age group. <laughs> like this is what... This is what everybody was crazy about right after I got too old for this. But the Jonas Brothers, the 3D <laughs> concert exper experience. When did you even buy this? I got that at a pawn shop. Obviously, it's still got the $7 sticker on it. But I don't, I've never heard of it. Never seen it. I don't know why the heck we own it. Okay, we have come to the last and final category. Of course, I saved the best for last. My Christmas uh, titles I picked no. up for, for November. It's appropriate for me to be uh, Not a big uh, stack. I, I still want to get a couple more before Christmas um, that hopefully I'll get. But uh, we'll go ahead and start with uh, the one this. DVD I got. I wanted to throw that in here because it's a Christmas DVD. I want to watch it. You got to see this movie. It's really good. It's it's definitely a different take. I mean, a different... Uh, I totally watched it as a kid. A, a different thing now that I'm older because i haven't watched this since i was a kid because it used to come on tv all the time and i think i had it recorded on vhs uh but i seen that disney was uh had this uh, when i was on their you know website for the disney movie club so i had to order it and this is a movie called a mom for christmas it came out in like 93 ish um and it's got olivia newton john in it but i really liked it as a kid and to be honest with you when i watched it i actually did watch it again about a week ago and you know, like a lot of times when I rewatch a movie from childhood, I watch it as an adult. It tends to be not as good as it was, as I remember, obviously. But, but this one was okay. It kind of held up. Uh, but it's it's where Olivia Newton John is a mannequin, and she wants she, you know her mom died when she was a baby, and it's just her and her dad, and she wants a mom for Christmas, and then so she gets a wish granted, and she comes to life, and she only has her you know till Christmas. So you know what I just realized? That's like basically the same storyline as Life Size, isn't it? I've never seen that. Tyra Banks. I've never seen that. They got a new one coming out, and I'm not. I, I think this it. type of story thing they've done a lot in different ways, but when I seen it on the website, I was like, "Oh my god!" I didn't even know that that, that was on DVD. I mean, there is obviously no Blu-ray of this, but um, I couldn't believe that this was even on a DVD because when you watch it, you can tell the parts that it goes to commercial because it was like a made-for-TV movie. I wish so. it was up here. But it was fun. We'll we'll watch this maybe tonight. So yay! Okay. Uh, a couple other Disney uh, Christmas titles. We got the brand new, like, Frozen movie. It's not, like, really a sequel or anything. It's just, like, a Frozen adventure. 
which of course is called Olaf's Frozen Adventure. It just recently came out um, to Blu-ray not too long ago. Um, so I had to get it for the Disney collection. No. Haven't watched it yet. <laughs> what? I don't. Okay. Tommy saw the reindeer on the back, and he just assumed that meant it was Christmas. Well, there, there's a sled, and there's presents, and... But, okay, yeah. I'm sure they touch base on Christmas, but that's actually one of the normal characters. Like, well, I know that. The the Olaf, you mean? No, the, this dude. Oh, the reindeers? Yeah. Are, well, I've never seen Frozen, so. I know. What's wrong with you? No. Where's Sadie? She's dropping the, the ball on, on you. Uh, we got a brand new Disney Movie Club exclusive that I just had to throw in to the Christmas I'm section. For this one. And that is Jonathan Taylor Thomas, first time to Blu-ray, I'll Be Home for Christmas. I thought he was so cute back in the day. Um, but yeah. I don't know what it looks like now. But. First time to Blu-ray on the Disney Movie Club. Had to get this movie. I, I, I liked it as a kid. I did too. This used to be on TV a lot, I remember. Yep. I just watched this on TV a lot. He used to be on TV a lot in general. He was a yeah. big Disney name for a long time. Jessica Biel's in here? Yeah. Oh, Doesn't right. she, she play his love interest? Or she's something? like really young in here. Yeah. Do you know Jessica yeah. Beale is from Minnesota? Yeah. She's from Ely. Ely, Minnesota. Uh-huh. All right, next up here is another movie in the, like, buddies, paws. I don't even know what you want to call. There's like 10,000 of them. <laughs> this is like the second one I got. I only grabbed it because I found it with a slipcover for three bucks. But Santa Paws 2, The Santa Pups. There are so many of these movies, you guys, and I can't even keep up with them all. Some come with, some come with slipcovers, some don't. Some aren't even on Blu-ray. It's crazy. But if I see them cheap with, you know, slipcovers, I'll grab them. But this is like the only second movie I have in this whole franchise. But it's a Christmas movie, right? Have you seen it? I saw it when I was little. All right. Next up here, we got found this at a pawn shop with a slipcover. I'm sure it's garbage. Uh, came out a few years ago, Jingle All the Way 2 with Larry the Cable Guy. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Never seen it. But like I said, I found it cheap with the slipcover. So why, why the hell not? Why do we own so many movies that we've never watched? I'll watch it. But oh, yeah. I'll watch it for Christmas this year. Maybe but. we should watch it tonight. Just get it out of the way. Like ripping yeah. off a band-aid. <laughs> I'm sure it's pathetic, but... We'll see. All right. Next up here, we got Fred Claus. This I remember last year I, I found the, I had the slipcover, just the slipcover of this, and I heard that the slipcover was like super out of print, but apparently it's not because I can find them in store with, with slipcovers, but um, this is a fun movie. It, it's it's okay. Um, I found this at Best Buy for like seven bucks or something like that, so I had to grab it for the uh, Christmas collection, so have you seen this? No. It's pretty cool. It's about his kid, right? You got Paul Giamatti. Uh, uh, in here. Um, Who's Fred Claus? Is he the son or is he like the brother? No, they're brothers. Yeah. Wasn't there like a movie about this before? I don't know. All right, so we'll go ahead and finish out this uh, <laughs> Blu ray update. <laughs> You're funny. Finish out this Blu ray update <laughs> with some titles that, you know, I've always had the, the Christmas classic collection box set that comes with like you know pretty much all of them but these are the three that matter and i've always wanted like slipcover editions of these and like, <clears throat> pretty much every year they release a different type of slipcover edition of these individual releases i still have the box set that comes with like the other ones but i had to get these because these are the ones that really matter but frosty the snowman these cool new updated slipcovers they're cute <clears throat> and they're embossed. I like that. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. They're yeah, they're embossed and like they got like glitter on them and shit. Like built into it. It's not like the glitter that's going to come off in your hand, which is nice. And they're really cheap. I, they were like five bucks or something at Best yeah. Buy. And then my favorite Santa Claus is coming to town. So I, I just wanted some cover editions of these. You don't have so. the one with the Misfit Toys. Yeah, that's Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. The Misfit mm -hmm. Land of Misfit Toys. No, it was like a part two. Oh, That's just about Rudolph. That. I don't even know what you're talking about. All right, everybody, that'll wrap it up for this November Blu-ray update. I was hoping to pick up more Christmas titles for this update, but like I said, there's still a few more I want to try to grab before uh, before Christmas. So, hey, there's our star that we haven't put on yet. I'm going to stick it in my head because I can't find <clears> that. <throat> that'll work. Okay. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that like button down below. Drop me a comment. Let me know what kind of Christmas movies you guys, you know, picked up. What's your favorite? Um, you know, recently for Christmas. And yeah, what are your favorite Christmas movies? 
um, and uh, share the video around. Subscribe if you have not, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys are always notified since I've been lazy lately and have been up updating, uh, <laughs> uploading videos. So I think Jess and I are going to have a relaxing night. Uh, no work, no shows. No kids. No kids. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just the two of us here. We're going to snuggle up and watch some Christmas movies. So uh, we're excited for it because next weekend is going to be busy. It's going to be Christmas shopping. Yes. And, yeah, we're late Christmas shoppers because we're idiots. Thanks. But Well, there you have it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye.